hi angels welcome back to another resin video so in this video we're gonna be making another red resin clutch purse i don't know why it was hard to say that so i was making a resin wall clock and some of the resin ran over so since i already placed down a trash bags all i have to do is just pull it up the resin piece from the trash bags i was like okay you know this would look so cute if i make a purse out of it so that's what i'm doing so some of this some of the resin got stuck onto the trash bags while some of it got stuck onto some of the pigments that i was using and it got stuck onto the um silicone spoon that i was mixing up my resin with and yeah so all i have to do is pull up all of the pieces and i did have a little bit of some paint that was not dry yet so my hand got a little messy and some of it got onto the resin pieces as well but all is well then look at this piece so I also had some little tiny scrap pieces from a clutch purse that I was making I didn't want to waste that one as well so I'm gonna be putting those little tiny pieces around the edges and the bigger pieces are just gonna go on top of everything I have a cold my voice is going away oh but yeah okay so now i can start layering down the big pieces into the mold they don't have to be in any specific order i just need to just layer them on there some of these pieces like is gonna lay down flat some of them will not some pieces on them may be sticking out none of these are gonna be the exact same shape or size or anything like that because it's just random pieces of resin so I'm just trying to get them all on there and nothing sticking out so after layering down everything I had some white resin so I'm just pouring that on top of everything, on top of my little tiny resin pieces. This from, oh yes, I was making another resin clock, so I had a little bit of some resin that was left over. So I'm going to be using those. And then I had some clear resin as well, so I just pour that on top. And I'm gonna let everything dry for 24 hours before I do anything else to it. I was still trying to figure out if I wanted to just do some plain clear resin, some glitter, or maybe some gold flakes. I was still deciding, so. Yep. Took a good minute to decide. So now it is the next day. I have my clear resin that I'm going to be pouring down. As you can see, if you look very closely around the edges and around the big pieces, you're going to see a ton of bubbles. Some of them pop on their own. Some of them, I have to pop them with either poking them or using my lighter. Yep. Just pouring down my resin, making sure that I got all around the edge because you know there's some pieces of resin on the sides. And now look, so. Now I'm just poking aside because there's some bubbles around there. And there was a bubble that was stuck underneath there as well. And there's a bubble in there as well. Sometimes if you just let it, it just pop on its own. Like all the sides, it's just popping. So 
So I had some white resin also left over as well. So I'm just putting a little bit on top. Just going around squiggly squiggly. Don't have to layer it on there perfectly because I don't want to hide the resin piece that's going to need it because I like the way how they are all different shapes, different, they're all unique in their own way. So I was not trying to cover it up. So that's how I was like, maybe that's the little squiggly effect so you can still see it underneath it. I'm making sure that I got the edges because all I had on there was some clear resin and I didn't want the white to just be at the top, I wanted it to be at the sides as well. Then I'm just going over it with my lighter. There's some bubbles at the sides. Not on the first mold, but on the second mold, there was like a ton of bubbles that kept on rising that I had to keep on popping. Still popping bubbles. And that's it. We are done. We're going to let this layer dry. Actually, let it dry for two days. Because when I try to demold it, well, not demold it, but I was just checking up on the sides. If the sides were good, they weren't ready. So I just let it sit in the mold for two days before I remove it out. So usually you just need to let it dry for 24 hours. Also, I think I was using a different type of resin. Yeah, so I was using a different type of resin. Huh, that's why it wasn't dry. Well, any oozy. <laughs> just read. Just read a drying time on your resin and you should be fine. So now it's two days later and I can finally pop it out of the mold. Do -do -do -do. You can see that it came out of the mold. Out of the mold super easy and there's a little some of the resin ran over to the side but that's perfectly fine i just used my scissors to just cut it off i didn't show you guys that part but or you can just pop it off with your hands just like what i'm doing right here quick and easy and also some part of the some part of this the resin didn't fully cover it so there's parts where there's holes but it's not a lot i always know that this wasn't gonna be perfect and inside of this the resin it didn't seep all the way underneath it so there's some pieces of it you can clearly see it was not covered with resin and up top right there you can see some holes nothing at the sides but right there there's some holes as well just a little pieces not a lot <laughs> yeah so it looks that's how the inside of it this looks absolutely so cool especially in the inside of the bag like that looks so awesome now it's time to put the clutch purse together this frame i got from amazon if you order the mold it usually comes with it but i've been making a ton of these so i need to order the frame separately so i'm just putting it together obviously you need to glue this together but i just wanted to see how it would look i usually glue it with my e6000 glue or you can glue it together not glue it together you can put it together with um uv resin but this is how the inside of the bag looks it is so cool like it's so awesome i wasn't sure if this was going to turn out good or not but 
it honestly to god did i like it this is my favorite bag of 2023 so awesome the top the sides everything looks so great and it's not that rough that you're gonna cut your hands on it or anything like that even though there's like one or two pieces of resin that is sticking out on top of the bag but everything just looks good and this is how the inside of the purse looks gorgeous gorgeous the sides The orange at the sides looks so cool. Like everything about this bag just looks so amazing. I love it. And this is how it looks in a better light. It. Love it, love it, love it. Alright, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more resin stuff or any of the random stuff I make.